I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. In the prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you, please don't invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, you know, our topic today is about the name which is appearing in the Old Testament, which where we cannot, uh, we cannot find it anywhere in the book of the Mohammedan. And you know, remember the Mohammedan, they claim that they have the same God. You know, Muhammad is a person who hijacked every religion. Every belief, not only Judaism and Christianity, uh, he hijacked uh, the Sabian, he hijacked, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the fire worshippers, uh, the Buddhists, uh, the Hindus. He took a lot of religion from many people. Or let's say his religion is a cocktail of many, many religions. Uh, but before we start, you know, the Muslims are really so desperate to prove to us that Jesus is not God and Muhammad is God. And just to show you an example of how desperate those people are, this is a person he called himself Sam. And uh, he, you know, he is posting all over. I mean, this guy, he posts like 50 comments. There are articles, they are not even like, he's not like writing, you know. He go copy paste. And if you see his comment, this man, he is trying to prove to you that Muhammad is a prophet. And I find it very funny and very weird that the Muslims are, they cannot find their prophet to be prophet in their book. And they try to make him a prophet in their, in our book or, the, you know. You see, the word prophet means somebody he prophesy and the Bible, the Old Testament says clearly, a prophet should prophesy in the name of the true God, not only he prophesy, and his prophecy have to come to be true. And Muhammad failed in both. Uh, as an example, Muhammad, he looked at a child and he told him, before this child became old, judgment day will come. Muhammad, he said, the sun is split, that's already the moon is split, ascender, and judgment day is near never happened. Uh, Muhammad, he claimed that he saw a hole of Gog and Magog wall and they are coming out soon. Uh, Muhammad claimed that there is no uh, plague or any disease pandemic can enter the city of Mecca and Medina. And then we find tens of thousands of Muslims die in the same cities and around, around cities too. So a prophet is not a person, you know, call him a prophet, and that's it, you attach a title to him, but it's somebody he can do, you know, what a prophet can do. I mean, the man, he thinks that women have a sperm coming from her ribs, and he thinks that the man have a sperm coming from his uh, backbone. So being desperate as a Muslim is something I understand very well. You are bankrupt, literally, and you could not prove to the Christians and to the Jews that Muhammad is a prophet, 
So you said to yourself, let us go, maybe we can find someone we can say he is uh, a prophet. And you know, if you ask yourself, when the Muslim they quote for us a verse, why they didn't quote the whole chapter? I mean, what, why, why, why like 18, 18? What's wrong with 18, 17? <laughs> you know? <laughs> is 18, 16 valid? <laughs> what about 18, 1? You know, I mean, those people are really so desperate. And by the way, never trust what they post for you because they can change the translation, they can change words, they can add words, they can replace words. They did that to their Quran. The Muslim, they claim that their Quran came in seven ways. So the Muslim, he have seven lies about his book, right? So when a Muslim, he come to you and he try to find you uh, or to find a place uh, for Muhammad, why you don't quote for us the book you are quoting? Isn't it in the same chapter is talking about the people of Israel? Why you don't show the people chapter 18, verse number 9? Why you don't want to show that? Why you don't show us that your prophet who teach magic, his God teach magic, this is against the Bible in the same chapter. And the funny is that those people are so stupid that they are quoting for us verses speaking about false gods or false prophets. As an example, they say Muhammad is you know is illiterate, and the Old Testament speak about illiterate, but that one is speaking about illiterate who they are the hypocrite, the priest, who they claim that they do not understand. <laughs> and then, you know, uh, the Muslim, they, they went all over the chapter and they found Muhammad there and it says, I will, ra I will raise up from them, from them, you see the word when them them who well, who is them muslims when you say them what what them who is them no dignity no honesty and why they will have any when they are following muhammad if we go and read in the bible you will see that one of your brother will be a prophet for you is Muhammad is from the Jews? Suddenly Muhammad became a Jew. He is born of a Jewish family too. This is 1818. I will, I will raise them up, a prophet from among their brethren. Like into thee. And I will put my words in his mouth. Your Prophet Muhammad never received words from the mouth of Allah. He received it from the mouth of Jibreel, according to him. And he shall speak into them, and all th that I shall command him. Muhammad even, he make his own command, and even the Quran have a chapter about it called Chapter of At-Tahreem. So he promised his wives not to sleep with the slaves anymore after they got him busted, because he was doing it in the bed of the wives, not because he was sleeping with the slave, you know, but because he's a hypocrite and he feared their fathers, so he promised them not to do it anymore. And then second day, he claimed that Allah gave him a chapter saying, well, you forbid yourself what I did not forbid to you. So as you see here, this prophet is a man who, you know, who, who uh, 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 or a person who don't go against God will, is a person who do God will. And then, if we, you know, if we, if we read, uh, you will see that this person, he speak in the name of the God of the Jews. And actually, this is our topic today. In the name of the God of the Jews. If we go to the Quran and we try to find what was the name 
of the God of the Jews according to Islam. And then we will go and we will see what the book says about the God of the Jews. Let us read together. In chapter 28, verse number 30, and this is supposedly a story about Moses, and as usual, Muhammad he is a thief. He still things have nothing to do with him, and this is why he, you know, he's messed up as usual. So when he reached the fire, he was called from the right side of the valley, in the blessed place of from the tree. O Moses, verily I am Allah. Here we notice right away and immediately that Muhammad is a fraud. If Muhammad he really worshipped the same God of Moses, why we don't why we don't find the God of Moses speaking there? Nowhere we can find in the stories of Moses that when God he met Moses, he said to him, I am Allah. He did not say that word. He never mentioned that word, not even once. So how Yahweh become Allah? There is a potato. His name is Daniel. I don't know if you saw him before. He had a debate with David Wood before. This guy is very sneaky, but he's very stupid, the same as the rest of them. He said, that the Jews, they borrow a name of a foreign god, pagan god, and that is Yahweh. A smart Abdul. The first question we ask ourselves, why the Jews don't want to change the name? I mean, if, if, if Allah is the name, why a book written long before Muhammad was born? Long before Quran came to existence, if it was ever exist. Why the Jews will change the name? I mean, have you ever heard of people changing what God said? Changing the name? What, what for? I and mean, what that will do to them? <laughs> 